I have seconds to, to react to this. We're not going to miss. This guy is going to hit me. <laughs> So I'm living out in the mountains, actually. I had to drive on this two-lane road that took me to the freeway. 55 mile an hour speed, no passing anywhere because it's curves, a lot of blockade, you know, hills and trees. You can't see anything going on. So you're never supposed to pass on this road. I turn the corner and here's Two cars coming at me, one passing another one. And he keeps speeding up. He doesn't stop and you know, go behind the guy. And then, but he's just going to pass him no matter what. And this isn't a very long straight. It, there was a gully. had didn't have guardrails. It had just concrete posts every little while. But I, I see him coming. I have seconds to, to react to this. And I said... We're not going to miss. This guy is going to hit me. <laughs> and I would rather go in the ditch by myself at 55 miles an hour than be hit head on. And he's going maybe 75 or whatever fast that he would be going and and hit head on with this guy. I thought, that's no good. I think I'll go in the ditch. <laughs> and so... And I don't know what would have happened to me because still at 55 miles an hour and you run into one of those posts, that's not good. So I went to turn into the ditch and I could feel this person come through the window. I could feel him leaning against me and he grabbed the steering wheel. So I couldn't turn off the road. He held the steering wheel so I couldn't turn. And we missed. And so, you know, when God says he's going to help you, he does. Now, maybe you won't have it that way. You might have another way that's not so physical because I could feel him. But you still will have angels help you because ministering angels are all over the place. So now to kind of solidify what had happened that morning. I'm coming home from school. I leave school. It's after 10 o'clock at night. I I come down the hill, and what do I see? Come around this corner behind all these plants. Four headlights. Oh, no, who's trying to kill me today? You know, I thought, am I someone's target? And they were so close that I had no way to avoid them without driving in the ditch. As I went down, he passed me, and we missed by just a, a couple of feet. And I, I thought we were going to hit. They were that close. And I went down, and I'm bouncing, <laughs> running through this grass, bumping around. And I drove back up on the road. I was able to keep momentum and get myself back up on the road. And then I thought, okay, what just happened today? In the morning, I wasn't capable of assessing the situation close enough to make the right decision. And God was. He knows. And so he sent an angel to keep me from going in the ditch because he knew the guy would miss me, even though it might be by a thousandth of a second. We missed. But now that night, I was capable of solving the problem. I didn't need an angel to come and drive my car for me. I could into the ditch. So when I wasn't capable of solving the problem myself, God stepped in and did what I couldn't do when I had done all I knew how to do. And then that night, I could do it myself. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to avoid all the problems. I've been in lots of wrecks. I've had people crash into me all over the place. And I have slid off the road and stuff in, in ice and snow. And Now I prayed every day for safety. I pray every morning, every night, and for help in what I'm doing. And he answered my prayers. But in this case, I had the power to miss the car at night. So I got to drive in the ditch, <laughs> drive down off the road and back up. But in that morning, I didn't have the power. So an angel saved me. And they're real. These angels are around. But just know that God is there. He says, I'm in your midst, but you don't see me. 
and that's more than you know. But I testify that ministering angels are real and that God is aware of us and he wants to teach us that uh, ministering angels are there to help us and they do help us. And I bear this witness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm.